Good evening. Um, this is Ifuru, and um, today I'd like to uh, start a teaching on um, hearing the voice of our spirit guides. I think that's one of the um, most popular things that I'm asked about out of everything. Most of the time, we don't understand the language of the guides. So I did a class a, a couple of weeks ago um, on Zoom called um, Understanding the, the, uh, God, the Language of Our Spirit Guides. And um, when, it, when it came to me the first time, the information from our guides that they had a language, you know, I actually was like, we have a, we have a language. So what, what is the language? And over about a week, they just began to make it very clear to me that they, they talk to us every day and our everyday common language in, in what we see every day. It's, it's the language of the gods and, and the language of our gods. This is, this is them talking to us. And I think that uh, part of the problem is of us not realizing that we're being spoken to is because we think that every thought that we have is our own thought and every um, encounter that we uh, encounter is something that's a coincidence or just happened to happen, but that's not the case. If you pray for something and you're or you're waiting for something to happen and you're asking for an answer, the answer is coming to you constantly until you get it. It's coming to you constantly until you get it. If you don't get it from your guides, it'll eventually show up anyway. It's going to show up because it's in your vibration, but they're trying to tell you so that you can rest and know that it's coming. So what I'd like to do is um, go through um, the language of the guides and just let you know that um, this is them speaking to you. So um, one of the, um, the ways that our uh, guides talk to us is through our own, uh, through thoughts. So you may be, you may ask a question, um, maybe you apply for a job and you want to know if you're going to get the job and, and, and you're just sitting there and you're thinking about it and you'll hear yes, or maybe you'll hear no. Usually we're not, we're not too keen on it. We may not trust it, but you heard it. You heard it. Even if you don't like what you heard, just remember you heard it. Even if you don't believe what you heard, just remember that you heard it. Even if, just write it down. You, I asked and this is what I heard. So then what'll begin to happen is they'll back it up. They'll start doing other things. You ask the question again and you may uh, be listening to the radio and a commercial may come on and say, yes, yes, yes. That's your spirit guide. That's them talking to you. They come through the, the things that we watch, the um, commercials, billboards, um, you know, just different types of advertisements. They'll talk to us through all the things that we uh, encounter on a daily basis. So that's one of the ways that they'll talk to us. Another way that they'll uh, speak to us, I have my little notes here. <laughs> I want to stay on track. But another way they'll speak to us is through numbers. A lot of us see numbers often. You know, if you really, especially if you relate to numbers, um, you'll, you'll see numbers often. You have to, you know, do your due diligence. When you see the number, let's say the number is 111 or 222, you know, and you know the sequences that we can see. So if you see those numbers and you're seeing it regularly, just go to your phone. Go to your phone, pick up your phone, put in the number that you're seeing, angel number, you know, 111 or one, and see what it tells you that it's saying. Remember what you're thinking at that moment. That you see it. That is the way they're. That's the way they're talking to you. You know, they're telling you through numbers. What do the numbers mean? Through you know, look up a couple of definitions. Look up and see what it means. And then what does it mean to you? You know, what does the number two mean to you? You know, to me, when I see the number two, I start thinking about a group. I start thinking about one and one. You know, it was one and it was one, and now we're together and we're two. You know, and there's so many ways to break it down. It's how you see it, 
how you see it in your mind, how you feel it in your heart. But, but that is another means of them speaking to you through numbers. So then let's say that um, you're an artist and you just express mostly through art. They're gonna to talk to you through your art. If you paint, if you do poetry, if you play music, if you do all of it, expect to see the answers and everything. You always, you know, I don't know, they might speak to you through the color blue. They may speak to you through the color brown, black. They, they may speak to you in a multitude of ways, but they are speaking to you. They are speaking to you. If you hear, go, you know, write a song. They may give you the, the answer in the song. You know, they, you may be playing music. You may be the type that just gets your information through music. The answer could come right through the music. You know, you can say, hey, are they listening to me now? And the next thing you know, angel music, something having to do with angels may come on. That's them talking to you. That is another way that they talk to you. Another way that they'll speak to you is through nature. So if you're a person that likes to be in nature, expect to see your answers in nature. You know, so it can be ants, you know, walking by doing their job. That's, that's the message. It could be, you know, a bird that just shows up. What type of bird is it? What does that make bird mean to you? That's a message. Everything around us is helping us. Everything around us is talking to us. Everything around us is here to assist us. Nothing here is against us. So your message can come through several different means. So another way that um, our guides will uh, talk to us is through our senses. Uh, you may be a person that actually hears um, the guides say something to you, or you may um, associate it with a smell you know, uh, uh, that particular smell may remind you, I don't know, you may be asking a particular question about reuniting with someone from your past. And you may smell this particular smell that was always in the area when you two were together. Maybe that smell was a smell that was comforting. And that could be your answer. Like, okay, you know, I'm having a pleasant past experience remembering, or it could be a smell that triggers uh, um, something that's not uh, agreeing with you. That could be a caution that, remember, it kind of stank when you was there last time, you know? So, you know, put it together because it is like a puzzle. And I think a lot of times when we're waiting for answers and we're trying to hear from our spirit guides, we kind of, we're thinking they're gonna write us a poem you know, write us a letter and, and say precisely what it is that they want, you know, that we want to hear. No, they're not. They're giving it to you just the way it is almost like when you have a dream. You know, when you have a dream and the dream is so good to you and you're trying to explain it to somebody else, but as you explain it to somebody else, it makes no sense. Well, this is the same way. What the way the guys speak to you may not necessarily make sense to another person if you're trying to tell them. That's why I'm giving you a multitude of ways that they speak to you, not just one way, a lot of ways they speak to you. And, the, and you have to figure out the way that, you know, best, you know, fits you. So, you know, you kind of have to put it together, but this is just a, a foundation so that you, you know, know the ways that they are speaking to you that they are speaking to you in your everyday life, you know, how, how you're living every day. They're gonna talk to you in your everyday life. If you're riding the train, it may be on the sign. It may be on the billboard in, inside the train. It may be on the bus. It may be on the side of the bus. You know, everything in your world is your answers. They, they're gonna answer you in every way that is in your world because you really are ruling that world. That's your movie. That's your life, that's your everything. So they will put it in any, anything available in that, in your realm that, you know, that is an indication to you, it's, but it's up to you. The responsibility is back on us to recognize it, to recognize it, not to say, oh, 
you know, that was weird. You know, I happened to see, I was asking a question and I happened to see a billboard. That was so weird. That's not weird. That's a synchronicity. That's one, that's the answer. If you need a confirmation, ask for a confirmation. I, I, I am not afraid to ask for a confirmation. If I get something and I think, well, you know, that's kind of close. I, I, I don't. I need a confirmation and I'll, somebody will call me and, and say something, you know, um, it's, it's just endless. <laughs> it's just endless. But I think the main thing that our guides want us to know that there is a language and the language is our everyday life, our everyday, uh, the things that are around us, you know, not to always be looking for something to come out of the heavens and speak with wings and balls of light, you know, it's going to be television, it's going to be, you know, a billboard, it's going to be, a, a you know, a, a song. But, but the number one way that they're going to communicate with you is through other people. A lot of times we're looking for signs in so many different ways, but a lot of times it's going to be through other people. And it's usually going to be through people that, you know, if it's a, if it's advice through a mom or a dad or a close friend, it sometimes the answer comes straight to you from a friend or from your mother. Don't be surprised that your answer is going to come from your mother, you know, or, or if, you, if, if some people have that relationship where they're just like, you know, no matter what happens, my mother seems to always have the answer. Why are you surprised? You know, she, she more than likely agreed to partnership with you to, in here, in this life. So if she has most of your answers, just be thankful that you have somebody that has most of your answers. You know, it doesn't have to be complicated. That's what I'm trying to say. It does not have to be complicated. It's, 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 it's simple. It's very simple. We just have to open our minds. Remember that other people have the part. Sometimes they have the part of our story and they'll, they'll, you know, have that answer for us. Just be open to everything. Be open to getting in your answers from all parts of your life. Everything, you know, it's all a part of our day-to-day. -day. Spirituality is day-to-day. -day. It's not um, one big event to the next big event. No, it's day-to-day. -day. It's getting up, feeding the kids, going to work, um, you know, managing that, maybe working your way out of a corporate situation. That is spiritual life. That's living your life. And then some of us being called to also help other people and fitting that also in we're, we're, that we're in for the whole job. <laughs> we're in for the whole job, not part of the job. We're in for the whole job. I have a saying, my saying is I'm on a dog on it. And what I mean by that is that you know, if you if you if you call me and you ask me for something or you or there's information you need, I, I'm always um, on it. You know, because that's what I'm here for, and it, I, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to be on it. I'm here to be aware. I'm here to learn. I'm here to teach, and um, you know, I, I really mainly uh, hope the biggest part that you get out of this lesson right now is. That it's just our everyday life. Don't make it complicated. Don't turn it into a big thing. Stop looking for signs everywhere. You know, this is it. The sign is your everyday life. They're talking to you in your everyday life, your dreams. You know, your dreams. You know, not, not a bunch of terror readers not going to have the answers for you. You know, sometimes it'll come through terror. Sometimes it'll come through just you sitting still meditating, you know, we have to play the whole gamut, not one thing, not just one thing. So um, that's really all that I have to uh, say about that. I really hope that, you know, that we, that if you have any questions about it, please put it in the comments. You know, I'm open to answer any question the best of my ability. If it's something that I don't know, I'm on the dog on it. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to try to find out to the best of my ability or get with somebody that can come here, you know, and, and teach it. So we all have to be open to, to learning, and I am open to learning with you. So um, be blessed.
have a good rest of your evening. And um, I'm on the door, honey.